One can make a fly uh, anesthesia device with the CO2 by using baking soda and vinegar, household vinegar, and then either a contraption like this that you can get from your chemistry lab, or you can make one of your own devices, which I'll show you about here in a little bit. Um, one can make one of their own devices with plastic bottle, as I'll show you in a little bit. This is then something that could be made relatively cheaply without having to buy the glass bottle. If you want to anesthetize your flies, what I've done is take your flies, but what you want to do is to transfer them to a bottle without the food, and uh, then you won't risk Actually, you can get more flies out of there as well. So take the lids off, cotton balls, tap them down, transfer your flies like that, put that back in there, that back in there. Good to do that outside so you won't have flies in the house. And then what you can do is, I've already put some baking soda inside of here, and I just used some household vinegar. You can get these little plastic tubing from um, an aquarium store that'll fit your syringe, for example. And what you want is a tight seal, so I put a plastic cap inside here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to inject all that, all this uh, vinegar in here and activate that baking soda, and it will make, it will make CO2. And, but it has to displace all this air to be able to make that that CO2. Now you can see the bubbles that are forming in there. That's all CO2. And if I put that tube, which you probably want a smaller tube if you can, in there, and then tighten this up. You can probably anesthetize a lot of your flies like that. Now they're anesthetized, most of them. You get rid of that really quick. And if you want to put your flies and you want to know how many you want to take into another vial, might take two people, but you can put them on some wax paper like this and you can count the number of flies that you want to transfer over that are anesthetized, for example. Now, there's ten. And the others will wake up in time, so you have to work pretty quick. If you put your food in here that you're going to use for your experiment, you might be really careful, put the flies in here and don't let them get down into the food because their wings will get stuck in the food. So you could brush them in and then put them sideways like that and then lay that sideways somewhere in the room to then uh, wait for them to wake up and use. Okay. Okay, another approach besides using this c container and this type of flask, one can use um, this. I just got a bottle with a very tight lid and uh, cut some holes in here and used epoxy glue around there to make that tight seal. And then you want to find some plastic that will fit your syringe, for example, right? And then this is really nice because it's narrow enough to fit down in the tube for your flies and you won't have escape around the edge. So what we're going to do now is put some baking soda in there. Okay, made a mess. And that came out, that's not good. Okay, now I'm gonna seal that up. I'm gonna get some vinegar out of here. There we go. Tie that up in here. Let's go get those flies that we just used a little while ago. Those are those flies that we just anesthetized. They're all awaking up now. Uh, let me find some cotton.
there's some cotton. So again, you want to make sure you take it out of that fly food, put them into an empty container, and then depending on how many flies you want to catch or to put into your food dish um, with your different food substances and transfer the number of flies you want with that filter paper. So here we go. We're going to inject our stuff. We're going to put this little tube here. This should And there's not as much air to displace here to, for the CO2. Now they're going to sleep, some of them. So now you can take that out and then put that onto your filter paper and then use a paintbrush 